guys welcome to my channel my name is Jordan and today I'm really excited about this video I wanted to show you how you can customize your iPhone screen with the new iOS 14 so basically first thing is you want to come up with a theme for your phone um, I'm leaning towards minimalistic I like blacks and grays and white and plants so that's what I went for So basically in order to do this, you're going to need two apps, you're going to need Widget Smith and you're going to need the Shortcuts app. So first I'm going to show you how to do the medium widget, which is the calendar widget. So you're going to open up Widget Smith and then you're going to scroll down to medium and you'll click one of them. and then. After you click default widget, you can go through and you can kind of customize what style you want for the widget. And then after you choose the style, you can go and you can choose your tint color and the background color. And I went for black with the tint color white. So after you save the widget, then you're going to go back to your home screen and you're going to click add widget and then you're going to search your widgets and go down to widget smith and then you're going to add the medium widget to the page now i'm going to show you how i did the quote widget so basically i went to one of the small widgets and then you have to make like a separate album from your photos with whatever quote you want to use or whatever picture you want to use or it won't work and then after you pick that picture and you set it as that album and that widget, then you should be able to use it. You're just gonna go through the same steps again like we did with the medium widget, but this time do a small widget. And then you're going to edit the widget and then change the widget to whatever one you had the quote set as. Now I'm going to show you how I did my apps. So basically I either created them on Canva or I used Photoshop. So what I tried to do is, is I went to elements and I would search up whatever the app icon was to see if anything I liked would pop up. And I tried to find one for a calculator but I didn't like any of them so I decided to get the actual calculator icon. And then I just adjusted the color on Photoshop to my liking. So I brought the image of the calculator back over to Canva and then I just fit it to that square so that way I could create the logo and just send it to my phone. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is go to shortcuts and then you're going to want to add a shortcut and you're going to click add action and then what you're going to type in is open app and you have to search for the app that you need so what we would need is the calculator app put a shortcut name which would be calculator and then you're going to click add to home screen and then after you do that you will put the name and then you will pick the photo so here's the photo that i made and then i'm setting it as my app So when you click on one of the shortcut apps, it's going to take you to shortcuts and then take you to the app. You don't get to just go straight to the app. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.